Hi everyone, welcome back. This video I'm going to show you how to sew the paw pads onto this paw. And of course we have the four separate pieces, the three smaller ones and the one larger one. They're sewn on a little bit differently, so I'm going to show you how to sew on each of them. We're going to start with the smaller paw pad first. And we're just going to stretch it out with our fingers. And of course thread it with your yarn needle. And we're going to go ahead and place it right over the toe right in the middle and when we bring our stitches in we're going to go on a slant so we're going to go underneath the paw pad and then out somewhere away from that area pull it through and no need to pull it too tight this snug enough to suck the one section down now go back in the same stitch hole that you were just in and then come up underneath the edge and through. Okay, so you can notice that these are quite a bit larger than these ones. And when you sew them on the way I'm going to show you, it kind of sucks in the sides. You can leave them larger if you want to. I just prefer these little bubble look to the, to the uh, smaller ones. So if you want them to look like the way I have them over there, then we're going to sew on the outside and we're going to go on a slant every time we bring the needle in. So on a slant underneath the edge. And then bring it over. I'll come right about there. Pull it through. Bring the yarn needle through the edge. And sometimes it'll get pulled a little bit too tight, so you just want to pull that out a bit. You just want it snug, you don't want it too tight. Now again, wrapping around the outside, going in on a slant, and go over. I'll come underneath right, right out there. And I'm just going to keep repeating this all the way around, and you'll notice that it's starting to suck in the sides now. Okay, so that is done. I'm just going to bring this up now, anywhere onto the top of the piece, and I'm going to knot it off. doesn't matter where. So before pulling that all the way through, I'm going to go through that loop and pull it tight. Now I can bring this back down and away from that area, out through anywhere, pull on it slightly, and cut. Now we just need to do the next two and repeat the same steps. Okay, now we have the top three pads sewn on. Now we're going to do the bigger one. This is the bottom of the pad right here, where the starting or the finishing yarn tail is. That's the bottom. And you can see the top is rounder, and it goes on just like that. But this one is sewn on differently than these ones. We're going to sew around on the inside edge. So go ahead and thread your yarn needle. And the first thing we're going to do before we put it onto the, the paw itself, we're going to go underneath the paw pad. So this is the back side here. And you can see this uh, starting yarn tail. I just cut it up a bit shorter because that's just going to get tucked in behind the paw pad. I'm going to sew around it. So we're going to bring the first stitch before we put it onto the paw. We're going to go right through here, right on the other side of these V's here. Bring it through. Now we're ready to put it onto the paw. So we're just going to hold it. If you want to, you can add pins. I'm just going to hold mine in place. So this is pretty easy once you get started. So now the first stitch we're going to do, we're going to go over on the inside here, straight down. You don't want to go anywhere on the outside because then you're going to see stitches. And just bring it out through a stitch hole right close by. And now you're going to need to adjust. And like I said, if you need to, add pins. Now we're going to go right through that stitch hole we just came out of. We're going to come up underneath the next stitch over. Pull it through. And now over the next stitch and straight down. 
don't go on a slant on these ones and then come out right about there remember to stop and adjust as you need to go back in the same stitch hole and up so that's how you sew on the inside Straight. so that's getting to the middle there so it's getting a little bit more awkward so I'm just going to go right back in the same stitch hole and feel my way around in there and come up through the middle so it's just a couple of stitches that are going to be like that bring it down and then way out over here okay I got all the way around you can see how neat that is it has a nice neat finish when you sew on the inside edge okay so now all we have to do is knot off and we can bring that anywhere and knot it off bring it through pull on it slightly and cut and there we go our paws are all done and we're ready to sew the legs onto the body I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did please hit the thumbs up sign and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.